my name is Ritu Parna Roy. Welcome to my channel. I am so happy to be back to making a book and a reading related video. I hope you have got some reading done in the first quarter of this year and do let me know what you are currently reading in the comment sections below. Today I will be exclusively talking about romance novels. Now romance novels were once upon a time my favorite genre in books to go because they are easy and fun to read and you know who doesn't love like a really nice uh, happy ending love story torrid affair and all of that. But then over the years of course I started reading other types of books and then I started picking up less and less of romance. One another problem that I have when I'm reading a romance novel is that I need to know what's happening next. So I go through a romance novel very very fast and then I'll find it very hard to focus on other things because I'm constantly thinking oh what happens in the next uh, chapter, what happens to this character but of late I had read a few and I'm going to talk about them in today's video. So to begin with I will talk about two books by Emily Henry. Now you must have seen these books all over social media, they have been talked about a lot. Many people found those books very interesting. These two books are Book Lovers and Beach Read. Uh, now these two books are, I will say, quite similar to each other. Please don't come at me if you really like the book or anything. They are similar because they both talk about protagonists who are into this writing field and publication field and all of that and somehow two very unlikely characters coming together and falling in love. Uh, now I think I enjoyed Beach Read a little bit more than Book Lovers because I read them one after the other. I thought there were quite a lot of similarities in the scenarios and in the characters and um, both the books are very fun, easy reads. As I said, two people who are not really uh, seeming to be compatible or fit for each other, they get together or end up together somehow, they are forced to encounter each other and their, uh, you know, the love starts and of course they fall head over heels and then what complications arise and how do they deal with that. In Beach Read, what happens is basically two writers, one who writes exclusively just uh, romance novels and one who is more on the literary novel side. These two authors, uh, writers end up in the same place where they are uh, writing their own books and their paths keep getting crossed. They challenge each other that they, each of them have to write uh, in a book about the other person's uh, genre and then you know uh, things happen, things flow and they both fall in love and whatever happens next. In uh, Book Lovers it is about two editors uh, one agent and one editor and how this agent lands in this uh, small town and then how she is faced with this editor who is working there and then what all happens and um, how their lives get changed and all of that. The second book is a bit cliche, little bit I feel but as I said they are both really fun reads, very easy to read, very good for traveling, the summer vacations are coming if you are traveling with your family or friends. You can carry these books along. Very fun, very nice. Uh, the characters sometimes you might feel that there is not a lot of depth or you know you don't expect that kind of things also. Um, but yeah, fun, good read. So thumbs up from my side. The next book that I want to talk about is a Colin Howard book, Reminders of Him. Another very very interesting read. Uh, actually uh, quite a lot of depth to the plot. It has a bit of a suspense and or rather mystery to it as well. A person, uh, a girl who is um, who is imprisoned comes back to her old life and she uh, has a kid who and then there is a lover and then there are so, so many complicated things how she wants to get the custody of the child and how she falls in love with her husband's best friend and how it all gets complicated and I really like the way the ending is and how everything comes into perspective and how the story really really evolves. Uh, really really good, very interesting. This was my first Colin Howard book. I have not read any of her books so far but I enjoyed it. I liked it. The next book is called Matchmaking for Beginners. 
So in this book, basically the protagonist is able to see how two people are really fit for each other. She can sense their energies and auras and all of that. But how when it comes to her own love life, she is not able to be so much perspective, right? But then somehow she inherits a house and then uh, she goes to live there with the intent of selling it, but then starts having feelings for someone there and then uh, someone from the past comes in and then this whole complication and how ultimately it gets resolved. Really, really nice book. A lot of uh, depth and philosophy to the plot line I felt and uh, really enjoyable very good read this was available on Kindle Unlimited next book is Good For You by Camille Pagan I hope I'm pronouncing the name right another book which was on Kindle Unlimited and I picked it up uh, when I was traveling uh, it was really really nice very good so a sister inherits a house uh, which was left to her by her late brother and she goes and finds that her brother's best friend is also has also inherited the house and that they both have to live together and all of that and then eventually of course the romance and love story and all of it starts but it also covers a lot of trauma and grief and loss and how they are both coping with the loss of this person which mattered who mattered a lot to both of them right and um, really nice i like that there were so many uh, you can say so many facets to the stories it was not just like boy meets girl and they fall in love there were so many aspects different which came together and like binded the whole story up so yeah thumbs up from my side and that is all that i have for romance novel suggestions for you guys let me know if you have any romance novel suggestions for me in the comment sections below and if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to like and subscribe i'll see you again next time till then stay happy stay healthy stay safe